Okay, so I saw that everybody is asking me on Instagram, why did I build two port drivers? So, the real reason, I think I, I don't have a real reason. There were multiple reasons. I think, the first of all, it was cheap, very cheap. So, the whole story begins. I started war driving, I think, one year ago or two years ago, I think, in October or November 2022. And then I was war driving from my phone but you have to have the Bluetooth connection activated, location activated, so the battery was draining real fast. So I tried to build my own, and I'm still working on that project, it's not finalized. Then I saw this project on WordDriver.it, and I liked it, so yeah. I wanted to buy it from a guy that sells them for, I think, 100 euros if i'm not mistaken or dollars something like that it was quite expensive but i wanted one so i did the order then my bank cancelled the order because they thought that the site was fishy <laughs> so i contacted him and he told me that he will postpone the orders for a couple of weeks but I i'm not the kind of person who waits impatient <laughs> so i wanted to build my own so i was looking around in my local stores and I think it was the same I think it was one 100 euros or something like that the components to, to buy them each so I was thinking what is this guy earning from all this I mean it's a lot of work to build one so I was not sure how it is possible to, to do this for free basically if it's the same price so uh, I've looked on Amazon and it, it was the same I think it was 97 uh, 97 euros, I think. So it was quite expensive. And then I realized that I have a cheaper option. And I will tell you this option and the end of the video. So why did I build two of them? So firstly, I built this one because I don't own a 3D printer. So this one, it's they are the same, but the enclosure differs. Uh, this is, a I think, $1 enclosure. It's just a plastic box that you can buy. And it was fun, but it's rough on the edges and... I'm not so great on working with tools, so yeah. It has the same components in the interior, but it looks rough. Then I wanted the original project. I like the look, so I spoke with the guy that has a 3D printer, and he helped me with that. But would that I do it again? No. So I will tell you why. Firstly, uh, so I built this one firstly. It, it works. Both of them work, work in the same... I just saw a scratch. <laughs> so both, both of them work in, in the same matter. Um, this gets quite hot, I think 50 degrees, 51 or something like that, because it doesn't have any ven ventilation points, just this one, where you have the micro USB, but that's all. So inside, you can see all the components. Uh, if you are an OCD person, please excuse me. <laughs> I have some hot glue around just to keep everything tidy. Uh, also for the, the GPS antenna, and to keep the board in place and the, uh, the screen and so on. This was a very tight fit here. I had to bend the antenna, but it works. So let's say it's the first project and I could use this as a starting project or let's say a prototype in order to build this one. So I already had the components because I bought components for two of them with, I think, almost $70, which is very cheap. So I had the components. I so basically I wanted one to keep it straight, to look at it as it is, and one that I can keep it like this. So on my board while I'm driving and look at the screen, but and the GPS should be uh, looking at the sky, but it was not, not the case. So yeah, I built this one, then I, I built the second one. Mm, I like the design, but it's kind of bulky. It's not a good fit in your hand, and I have quite large hands. Uh, here, I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, around the screen, this portion is, is very thin, very, very thin, so it will easily break. Here, I think it broke a little because I had the pins from the screen, which I removed after, and they had a large gap here, and then the screen was... It still is pointing outside, as you can see. I tried to, to put a, a small plastic thing under, but yeah, it's not for OCD guys. <laughs> yeah, but it works, and it's quite solid. I've used 
two millimeter screws, I think, and it keeps it tight and snuggy. Um, the micro USB port, and I've used for for the antenna for this part, I've used the one which has an enclosure for the GPS, so I, I, there's no hot glue here. It has the, the GPS holder and also the screen is bolted down, so there's nothing rattling. I mean, yeah, there's something rattling, but I think they're just the, the cables. For the display, because I didn't have thinner ones and I've used 24 or 22, I, I'm not sure, I think 22, or even thicker, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry for that. Okay, so this is the one, basically, I have like this set up with larger antennas, so I think this will be the setup for this one. But it's quite quite large as I, I said, so yeah. And <laughs> I have to tie this down. Oh, fail. Okay, so I, I didn't use this one, it's just for the looks. Um, I have to use the other one because for me it's much smaller and I just can keep it in my pocket. So I'm not carrying a backpack every time, so it fits in a jacket or in a hoodie or so it's just this a battery and a small cable and everything fits in a pocket so yeah works quite well okay so this was the reason why build two so it's cheap you can use one in your car and one while you are walking in your pocket and yeah, I, I just like the project i'm working on on another one, just a personal one, which I, would be cool, but we'll see. It will take some time to finish it. I've just opened it so to straighten the, the connections to the antenna, so you can see the inside. It's the same as the other, and I had this uh, spot for the GPS model, so it doesn't have it, doesn't have any hot glue. Yeah, it's basically the same. I think three pieces, I mean four without, with the display adapter. Now let's see uh, what are the prices. And so I bought all the components from AliExpress. I think everyone expected that, but let's see how the, how cheap are the components there. So I will include all the links in the description. This is the official page, wordriver.uk. You can see the project, all the, you have the details if you want to build one, all the steps and so on. Uh, as you can see here, this one, which is board uh, A, I think, or B, I can't remember, I think it's A. You have to bend it a little just to plug it. If it's needed now, it's automatically updated, but maybe you'll break it or something. The micro USB is also bented just to, have an easier way to insert the micro SD. There are a lot of videos with step by step guides and how to build one, so I won't go further into details. And yeah, that's pretty much. Uh, and also, the, the PCB I buy it from Tindy. I think it was 351, it was 742, and the shipping. Um, I can't remember to be honest. The shipping was 3 or 4 so it was around let's say eleven dollars for for two PCBs. So eleven dollars for this one. Okay. You have here the this is the GitHub page. You have everything you need here uh, from A and B and you have a step by step guide how to build it, what do you need, what are the settings and so on. Um, also you will need this GSM powered database. I will include this also. You just have to to download this folder and keep it in, and paste it in your uh, SD card that you use with your word driver. And if the GPS is not available, the GPS model, then you will get the location through the, the cell towers in your location. Okay, uh, I have this page open two times. Okay, so it's awesome that you can auto-upload now with the latest version on Wiggle. So yeah, it's a lot of fun, it's quite addictive and it makes you want to walk more or drive or whatever. So let's see what were the components and the cost. So those are 10, 10 picks for 2 euros, 
I bought one one lot one package, but I only used two, so I still have eight spare left. Um, the SAP thirty two was two and a half, I think, when I bought it. Mm, something like that, and I bought four just to have them. But also, you will have to keep in mind that in AliExpress you have to uh, pay for your shipping, and for me it was one euro and a half I think, for each. Uh, or just think one year and a half or one seventy something like that. Uh, this came in uh, pix one hundred pix per lot. I've used two, but you will need them for for other projects. Um, but uh, let, let me see. So this this one you need one thirty two U I think. Yeah, this is the one. You'll need this one. It's a bit more expensive. Yeah, because it, it was. I think five at the moment when I bought them, so it was like twenty euros for those ones. For this one, you'll need. Hmm, I can I can't remember. I think it was four seven L or something like that. So you need four seven K. Four seven K is where it is. Four seven. Four seven K. This is one. It's even cheaper. This is the box. It's one euro per box, but as you can see, it's kind of flimsy. Um, the IPX to SME, SME sorry, connection. It was one ninety three per lot. You have five picks. I need the the tails for other projects. I think I have, I have like twenty antennas. I think on all my projects, you can't have enough antennas. I bought the fifteen centimeters one. I think you can go with eight. Or maybe five. Those were too long, to be honest. I had to wrap them around, around the, the project. The SD card module, it was this one, which is the cheapest one, uh, just 50 cents. Mm. The Zener Diodge 855 C4 BQ, this is one. Uh, one euro. And yeah, you have 100 picks. I just used two. You can keep them for another project. Uh, the SIM 800L GPS GSM module. Mm, I don't really like it for other projects. I've used it in this one. So it's 260. One, I bought two. But I mean, you have to use a SIM card. This project doesn't use a SIM card. You use the, the cell towers. But I tried to integrate this in other projects, but I couldn't. So if someone knows, how to do it. I don't have time to be honest to dig deep in this project to extract only this part. So if everyone if anyone has only this part with the extracting the location from using the towers, please ping me or send me a private message. I would be grateful to integrate this in other project, the only the, the location tracker part. Mm, the GPS module, I, I don't think this is useful for me. I think it's maybe my city or my country i can't get any satellites i can't fix anything with those gps modules i'm not sure why i tried it before <laughs> uh, neo 6m neo 8 8m i tried a lot of modules nothing for i can't fix a satellite that's it it's not for me and the screen mm, i like the screens they are small you can easily read them they're not my favorite ones but they are small they are a perfect fit so the total was 6529 and let's say 11 euros or 11 dollars it was i think anyway let's keep it in euros it will be 77 euros for two so if we divide by two you'll have roughly 40 euros per <clears throat> per project so 40 euros it's not a lot it's a very fun project to build but to be honest to print the i don't own a 3d printer so to print the case to 3d print the case I paid like uh, 25 euros for someone to print the case. So if you add here 25 euros, it will be 634, like let's say 65 euros for this project. It's cheap, but I wouldn't print this case again, especially being so thin around the display. I don't know. And it's quite bigger. I, I, I like the, the smaller one better because it fits in my pocket. Okay, so that's the reason they're cheap. You can use one in your car, one in your pocket. You don't have to bring it with you and forget one if you're driving or if you are walking. And yeah, 
I think this is the reason why I built two. I already had all the components, and yeah, it's a fun project. I will include everything in the description of the video, all the the pieces that you can buy, and uh, the links for AliExpress. Buy them cheap. And I think it took like two weeks to arrive. <laughs> the fun, the fun thing was that I placed the order for the components from AliExpress and the PCB from the official website, which is sent from Netherlands. And I placed the order in the same day. So the components from AliExpress arrived two days earlier than the PCB from Netherlands. So yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think you need uh, any more reasons to start building this project. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, and maybe you can subscribe to my channel so I will continue to make such videos. And yeah, good luck and see you all in a future video.